As a kid growing up in the 90s and early 2000s, my two favorite heroes were Spider-Man and Jackie Chan. I was addicted to watching Spider-Man the Animated Series as well as the Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films. I also absolutely loved Hong Kong action cinema, especially the movie starring Jackie Chan. And recently, I decided to combine two of my childhood favorites into a fun action fan film. I was extremely excited, but also very nervous to tackle this project because depending on how the project went, I could either fulfill a childhood dream or let my younger self down. But I knew that I had to do it. Hey guys, Cameron here. Welcome back to Cam's Corner. If you notice that the background is different, that's because I'm currently visiting my parents in Shanghai, which is actually where I grew up. In this week's video, I'm gonna break down how we made Spider-Chan, a Jackie Chan, Spider-Man mashup fan film. I decided to give myself a specific goal, which is to make a Spider-Man fight scene in the style of an old school Hong Kong action movie like Police Story, starring Jackie Chan. So, turning this project into a reality, there were many challenges. First, I had to cast my Spider-Chan, an actor who could embody Peter Parker with his comedic banter. What's up guys, did you get your pin number? as well as have the physicality and fight skills of Jackie Chan and be capable of doing his own stunts. No stunt doubles. Jackie Chan is really the best action star to ever do it, so the bar was very high. Challenge number two, filling out the rest of the cast, uh, all the henchmen and goons that Spider-Chan has to fight, who not only needed to be fantastic stunt performers, but also had to have the comedic chops to add to the comedic nature of the short. Challenge number three, we had a very limited budget. This is just a patent project that I was gonna fund myself. Despite these challenges, I knew if we could find the right people and build a great team, we could pull this off. So first things first, finding our Spider-Chan. So when I was coming up with the idea, I already had a friend in mind, my friend Kevin Lay. I had met Kevin on a shoot last year where I was an extra and he was a stunt performer, and we kept in touch. He's a multi-talented actor, stunt performer, and choreographer. I was following his work, and he had produced, directed, and starred in several of his own action shorts, as well as starring in several other people's projects. I was extremely impressed with his performances and his skill sets. So I messaged him on Instagram, pitching him the concept, and crossed my fingers that he would say yes. Super quickly, he responded, and he liked the idea, and we agreed to meet for coffee. Unfortunately, we really hit it off, and we instantly agreed that this is a great project to collaborate on. And challenge number one solved. We got our Spider-Chan. So now, with challenge number two, filling out the rest of the cast. I've worked with many fantastic actors before who have action experience, so my initial plan was to hit up a bunch of my friends and see if they were available. Kevin is actually a fantastic stunt choreographer who oftentimes builds his own stunt and action teams. And I know he has his own crew that he likes to work with a lot. And not only was Kevin interested in starring in the short, he was also passionate about helping choreograph the fight scenes. He pitched bringing on his own action team and casting several friends and colleagues he's worked with before. And I was like, amazing, that saves me so much time on the producing end. And we have a great action team who have worked together before and have great working relationships already. So now that we had the rest of the cast, challenge number two also solved. Kevin took the lead on designing all the fight choreography and I had told him sort of the rough story beats that I wanted to hit. From an action design standpoint, my job was to figure out how to incorporate different Spider-Man abilities like web shooters into the action using visual effects. Both of us watched a bunch of Spider-Man action scenes as well as Jackie Chan fight scenes on YouTube for inspiration. So for the short, I was gonna be the cinematographer and basically operate as a one-man crew. Camera movement-wise, we would stay accurate to the Hong Kong action style, especially in Jackie Chan movies where we would have many wide shots and mostly six to tripod shots with pans and tilts and avoiding the shaky cam handheld look that many Hollywood films have. We would hold on to each shot longer, doing several beats of choreography before cutting instead of doing the quick cutting style, which is often used in Hollywood films to hide stunt doubles. But since our performers were gonna do all the stunts themselves, we did not need to hide them in the edit. Jackie and his movies would always use his environment and random objects around him, so we definitely wanted to incorporate that into the action design as well. And challenge number three, like I mentioned before, we had a very limited budget of only $1,200, and that all went to our amazing action team and performers. All the performers work professionally in Hollywood, so they were working for a much lower rate than they usually get for professional gigs. So I'm very grateful they were down to come and play with me on my little passion project. To save money on renting locations, we filmed the entire short in and around my apartment complex, which is where I shoot a lot of my YouTube videos. We filmed in the garage, a staircase, open air walkways and a courtyard. We also filmed during the day on a weekday so most people would be at work and there would be minimal foot traffic. 
Since we only had one day to film the entire short and a very ambitious concept, we wanted to be as prepared as possible and move quickly and efficiently through the shoot day. And that's why we actually did a 2.5 hour rehearsal day at JAM. JAM, also known as Joining All Movement, is an amazing stunt performer gym where a lot of stunt performers and different movement performers and athletes train. So a week before the shoot, we were able to find a day where everybody was available. After Kevin and I had decided on most of the action design and choreography beats, Kevin taught every performer their choreography. We went through the whole short section by section. I had a ton of fun and learned a lot by watching these incredible performers work their magic. Everyone was picking up the choreography super fast and could instantly replicate the choreography that Kevin had come up with. There's a reason they're professionals at this. And at the end of the rehearsal, we filmed a very rough version of the short at the gym. That was super helpful. On many bigger projects, people often do uh, extensive storyboards where people draw out frame by frame what they need to do. This is essentially a video storyboard or a video board. And having that video board filmed and the rehearsals filmed completely calmed any nerves I had because I basically could see a rough version of the short we were going to make. I knew every single shot I had to get and the performers had something to reference and review before the shoot and get prepared. And then it was shoot day. The shoot went so smoothly, our performers absolutely crushed it and made my job so easy. Even though I was a one man crew directing, shooting and producing, I actually felt like the laziest person on set because all the performers were doing such fantastic physically demanding feats. So to break down the process we went through during the shoot, we would usually do a few rehearsal runs on each section so the performers got the choreography down. Then we would film four to five takes, sometimes more, sometimes less, to get the best shot we could. And each performer was gonna do at least one big wreck, which is the term in stunts when somebody does like a big fall, when it looks like they really injure themselves, but done in a somewhat safe way. So for those, many of the actors had their own stunt pads where they could cover their elbows and joints and knees and sometimes their back. And I also had some crash pads that I can put on the ground for them to fall on. Which not only helped the performers do these stunts safely, but also allowed them to do them several times. And with any big action stunt project, safety was our number one concern and we made sure to do everything as safely as possible. And since I'm also a amateur VFX artist, I knew that I could remove all the stunt pads in post so it wouldn't look like the actors were falling onto pads, but looks like they were falling onto hard concrete ground. And once again, I wanna give a huge shout out to Kevin, our lead and our stunt choreographer and our action team leader. And he had to be on and moving the entire shoot with not much rest. And he was such a trooper and never complained once. Even I was a little bit tired after filming and all I had to do was point the camera at the performers. So truly so much respect to Kevin and all the performers for delivering fantastic performances and choreography even several hours in. And even though it was hard work, I feel like everybody had fun. And even though it was my first time working with most of the cast, we really became quick friends. There you go, that's how we pulled off our Spider-Man Jackie Chan mashup fan film. From pre-production to production. And if you want to see the finished short that we made and watch the incredible performances by our wonderful cast, you can click the card right here or I'll put the link in the description below as well. So after you watch the short, let me know, did I successfully make a childhood dream come true or did I let my younger self down? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're wondering about post-production and the visual effects and all that stuff, I will make a separate video covering how I turned our Jackie Chan into Spider-Man using visual effects. So stay tuned for that. And besides sort of a deep dive into the post-production and the VFX breakdown on the short, I also plan on interviewing Kevin where he can break down the specifics of how he approached the fight choreography and any sort of tips and insights he has about being a fight choreographer and action actor. So let me know if you have any questions for him. You can put those in the comments below as well. That's it for this week's video. I hope it was insightful, educational, or entertaining in some way for you. And if you're an artist or creative yourself, hopefully it inspired you to go make something of your own. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.